There's no other option. They've got to take a chance. What a story. Hi, I'm Tracy Borgfeld, Associate Publisher at Massey University Press. And it's my great pleasure tonight to launch Will to Win, wonderful new book by Lana McCarthy, Andy Martin and Jeff Watson. It's been a long time getting this book into the bookshops, so we're all very pleased to be able to do so this week, and especially at a time when sport is starting to be played around New Zealand, including netball. I'd like to thank everybody for their contribution in making this book happen, most especially to the coaches and captains of the Silver Ferns who generously gave their time to be interviewed but also to the designer and the editors. Just like putting together a good game on court, it was a real team effort. Very little has been published about elite women's sport in New Zealand, and Will to Win makes an important contribution to the discussion. It also gives us a look behind the scenes at an elite international team, and the changes in coaching and management styles over the decades, and how that affected players and team culture. So thank you all for being with us tonight to launch this wonderful book and a special thanks to Netball New Zealand for hosting it on their Facebook page. Thank you. Like thousands of other young netball players in New Zealand, I grew up with aspirations of one day playing for the Silver Ferns. I would watch my idol Benice Meany and hope that one day I would play goal defence for the Silver Ferns just like her. I have countless childhood memories of watching televised games of the Ferns playing against the Australian Diamonds with victory often impossible to predict until the final seconds. I also remember being glued to the television and witnessing momentous moments in the history of the game such as the one goal loss to Australia in the dying seconds of the 1999 World Netball Champs in Christchurch or the epic moment when Timmy Pata George was sent off during the final of the World Cup in 2003, and the Silver Ferns got their revenge by reclaiming the trophy and the title as the world's top-ranked netball team. My passion for netball and for coaching has been the foundation of my PhD research, and now this book. I hope to have an impact on increasing the percentage of female high-performance coaches across various sporting codes in New Zealand. I hope, too, to continue coaching for as long as possible, a coach never stops learning and must take every opportunity to grow, be open to new ideas, and be brave enough to take risks. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr Lana McCarthy and I am one of the co-authors of the book Will to Win. This book is based on my PhD research which was one of a kind um, completed in New Zealand. It provides a history of the sport of netball, how it came to New Zealand and its development, um, it also looks at women in sport and in leadership roles. Um, it's largely based on exploring the team culture, leadership and coaching styles that were evident within the Silver Ferns, um, how this evolved over a 60 year period. And we looked at this by interviewing past coaches and captains um, of the Ferns who shared their stories, um, gave their insights and discussed the ways in which team culture was developed, um, different leadership styles, different coaching approaches that were used, um, and how each of these evolved over the time and how they impacted and influenced the success of the team. This book would not have been at all possible um, if it wasn't for those interviewees who so willingly and enthusiastically uh, shared their stories and experiences with me. So I want to sincerely thank you all so very, very much. Um, it was such an amazing opportunity to talk to you all, um, a real honour and a real privilege, so thank you. Um, I'd also like to thank Mesa University Press, uh, in particular Nicola Liggett and Tracy Baldfelt for all the hard work that you have put in behind the scenes. I know it hasn't been easy, um, but we really do appreciate everything that you have done. Um, also want to thank Sarah Thornton at Thornton Communications for all the work you have done around uh, publicity for the book. Um, also the support that we've received from Netball Manawatu and Netball New Zealand. Thank you very much as well. I'd also like to say a very special thank you to Dr Farah Palmer and Dr Dennis Slade for your contributions towards the book. Um, it was very special to me to have you both involved, so thank you very much. To my co-authors, uh, Dr. Andy Martin and Dr. Jeff Watson. Um, this has just been the biggest privilege and honour for me to have written a book with you both. Um, 
you have just given me constant support and guidance encouragement and belief over many years throughout my masters my phd and now this book um, i would not be where i am today in terms of my career in terms of my accomplishments um, without you both so from the bottom of my heart um, thank you both for just being the most brilliant mentors colleagues and friends Thank you also to two of the most important people in my life and my biggest supporters, which are my parents. Um, they fueled my passion for netball from a very young age right to where I am now, constantly supported me. Um, I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done. Um, you've always believed in me, you've always encouraged me to achieve great things. Um, and to me, writing this book is probably one of my greatest achievements. Um, and so I dedicate this to you both and I just want to say thank you very much. And lastly, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who purchases a copy of this book. Um, I really hope that you enjoy reading it just as much as we enjoyed writing it. Uh, this book is not just for those netball fans, um, it's for anyone who enjoys sports. We hope that you take away um, an understanding and an appreciation of what team culture is, how to develop it, um, the impact it can have on your team's success and performance. Um, for those coaches and captains, you know, how can you develop and improve your leadership skills and qualities and your coaching approaches to get the most out of your team. Um, so again, thank you very much to everyone for your support.